going to stick with Vision, uh, but I, I agree. I, I think this one is probably going to go the distance. And in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if both of our lower bracket finals in Group A and B go to the distance. I'm definitely in the same boat. I think these are our two series, Game 5s, uh, whatever you want to call it. But off the rip, Victory Esports, which I was going to say was my prediction for this series. Uh, get get in on the action. It's a flick over Dr. Known, who finally gets to get back in on this one for Vision Esports, like Crelly said. And Victory Esports, first on the board. Yeah, welcome back, Dr. Known. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, right off the rip, you're... You're involved in, in conceding here. So for Victor Esports, great start. That's the type of start you're going to need. You're going to take down a team like Vision Esports. And for Vision, disaster class as they try and hop back on the horse. Only 20 seconds in, and Vision Esports already forced to, to try and quickly respond, which is a pretty big deal against Victory Esports. Again, this is a team that they took a game off of Falcons, which in my book is a, a pretty big deal, especially because I mean, at the end of the day, it is Falcons, and a lot of those games were very close. There were two goal games, OT matches, until that last one inevitably was a 6-1. But Vision Esports trying to kind of get their footing together a little bit here in this game one, but for now, it is the Victory Esports game. Pass and plays all the way around to get towards this net, just taking a couple shots if and when they can. It's important to find a rhythm, especially early in game one, if you can. Victory Esports they got their first goal in the first few seconds of game one. But for Vision, now they're starting to kind of find their form and they are definitely showing more poise down the field in possession. The Victory Esports kind of resulting or, or having to rely on these longer clears and challenge wins to keep themselves in the attacking third. This is an opportunity if Vision can get back to it. It's a good defense allows it to get out for just a moment as Vision trying to attack, but there's no one there to take the shot and maybe a wasted half chance. It's crazy because like the, the fact that nobody was there for the setup on the shot, but they had somebody so cheated up, prepared for it, is just unfortunate. I see the vision, I see the idea, but it, it's the execution really is what is the difference maker between these two teams right now. Victory Esports, every plan that they've put forward uh, for the most part has come at least to completion with the result being a shot on target. So I got to commend them on that one. Vision Esports just playing more defense right now and it's still not enough. Zazonix past the defense again, 2-0 lead for victory. Yeah, this is a great, a great start for Victory Esports, and they are all over Vision in this play. Zazonix with great placement. He got a piece of the last man, but was able to put it in the end. And for Victory Esports, converting on their chances afforded to him is so, so important. We've talked about that so much in the previous series, and being up 2-0 in game one is a great feeling. Exactly. I think there's like no better way to head in confidently. However, Vision's game plan, double demo oh and a gosh. double off the post. Still not quite enough to get through, but my goodness, they look so much better. At least is at least trying to get in there confidently, right? That's that's kind of what's been lacking a little bit is the aggression onto victory. But on the flip side, victory coming in hot just for a quick moment here. But you're approaching that second half of the game still down by two. A mountain of experience for the Victory Esports compared to Vision Esports. Two 14-year-olds on this team and a 15-year-old to round it out on Vision Esports. So some young, some young guns in Mina trying to go up against a few seasoned players on Victory Esports and certainly in this tournament. Down 2-0 at the moment. Vision Esports trying to get their offense going and it could be here over to Nush. Shot is high and Victory Esports there to clean it up. I was just going to say, because I, I had seen it in chat earlier today uh, in my break, that there, it was a very young team, Vision Esports. But honestly, that, that makes for the, the crazier ones. They're, they're fearless. They're very intense. Uh, they're respectable, but they're fearless. And I, I don't doubt that they're going to try and still make a comeback in this one. You see the attempts being made forward. This one almost got pushed through, not quite finding its way on in on this one. But it's not going to stop Ops from trying again. Double commit to just keep this one out. Not a bad plan, especially low on boost. One minute left to go in this one, though. Vision Esports getting a little bit closer with each and every attempt towards this net. With a minute left, Vision Esports, as you mentioned, you know they, they are kind of pecking 
at Victory Esports. Not a huge opportunity has come quite yet, or at least not in the last couple minutes. Maybe a chance here. But a couple good setups in the midfield have allowed Vision Esports to keep the pressure on. It might not be the highest amount of pressure, but they've kept Victory Esports backed up. And now a missed touch, or rather a missed clear, and the follow-up is there from SQQB. And for Victory Esports, they walk that one in. Oh my, this is just solid communication, but heavy, heavy aggression. SQQP just quick turnaround on the heel of his car, just making sure this one gets on in. Gaza with that initial setup, though. Great play overall. 3-0 up into this last few moments of the game here, and maybe they can build on it as well. But Vision Esports trying their hardest to, to keep up right now. They didn't look too bad towards the end of this game. It's just... Again, it's a learning moment. You take, you know, the info gathered in game number one and try and correct it towards game two. Yeah, certainly. I mean, again, uh, we, we talk about it a lot, but it's important to point out, especially for a team like Vision Esports, to take game one as your barometer for what you're going up against. It. Well, I think they've learned who they're going up against in a 3-0 fashion. Definitely not the best first game for Vision Esports, but the good thing and the good news for them is there is a ton of opportunity for them as they get one for the road. There's a ton of chances that they are generating, and that's what's important. It's, there's a difference between generating a lot of chances and not converting and sitting on your goal line and playing defense simulator. And I don't think that Vision Esports played defense simulator in this game, but they were certainly the team that didn't convert as high as Victory Esports. Yeah, I, I think the line makes it seem, I think, a lot worse than it was. And, you know, all the credit over to Victory uh, Esports. They, they, they got the job done. They converted on their chances. It was some good offense. You saw some individual play as well on the, on the ground. Uh, but for Vision Esports, th that was not a game where I sit and go, oh, no, uh, we're going to get destroyed in this series. I don't think that's the case at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat. I, I think Vision Esports definitely has a chance to, to kind of correct and come back into this one. And they're doing their best so far. No connection from either teammate on the back end of that play. But same for Victory Esports. And it's a quick turnaround from Vision. Nush off the ceiling to the backboard on this one. And, well, this is the most aggressive. We've seen them in a hot minute here. It's an infield that goes right into the hands of Victory. And a huge clear for them to go on their counter. Good stuff here from Vision. When they finally relented with possession on the Victory Esports defensive third, it was a long clear, and that last man in Vision Esports did the right thing. Slowed the play down, got up, put the ball away from the net, and allowed his teammate to get, teammates to get, to get back in rotation. And that's what you got to do when you play such a high offense like Vision does, or all these teams in Mina do. You've got to have that last man slow the play down, and Vision's done well there, and they've prevented a scoring chance, at least at that moment from Victory Esports, but now in this moment, not here. Ghazi puts this one away in a 1-0 lead for Victory Esports. This is just, I mean, you, you talk about slowing things down just a little bit, but also just having the patience to take your shot too, right? He knew that Dr. Known had already been up. It, it's just solid placement all the way around and connection on finding each other in that play. Do we got a quick pause on this one though, after a, a solid shot attempt. I don't know if it was involving that particular play or not, but. Vision's done well to at least create the opportunity. So we're back from the break, or whatever, the tech break. <laughs> the I don't know, it's not, not a break, a pause. And it uh, <laughs> looks like the goal uh, will stand So for Victory Esports, which is good. And so we'll keep going. And it looks like we rolled back the clock a little bit. 3.45 was on the clock here. So Vision Esports got their work cut out for them. Oh man, that pressure just is relentless when it comes to Victory Esports. It, I think the thing that makes them so lethal right now is almost every single touch is pretty much either on target or connecting to a player that's about to shoot a shot on target. So Vision Esports having to be prepared for every single thing that comes their way. I like this from Ops though. Great way to break on into that blue half and Dr. Known up next, immediately taken away. But there it is, like you were saying, having that one player lurk in that deep third is very, very beneficial when you're playing up against teams that are so offensive heavy. Vision, I think, trying to find their flow once again. Ops, that's a decent shot. It's off the post. What a crazy angle from him to at least give that one a shot of going in. Now Gazi back the other way. Dr. Known has to come up defensively as both teams trading blows. Oh man, it, it just, it doesn't stop, but that's a good thing. You're, you're matching pace of play right now. Uh, honestly, on both ends of the field, 
And this one gets away from one, goes into the hands of Visions. They're working together to the backboard. And I love that save from Gazi. He's just a slow floater right now, just trying to keep this one going forward. It's low boost. Ops up next with a shot. Zazonix to clear out to the corner. Oh, so close again for Vision Esports. They got the bump there, and the shot just caught the front end of the last defender who put up a good last stand in a very dire moment for Victory Esports. And it's a gr another example of her. We're probably going to continue to talk about this throughout this series for Vision Esports, where they have either a last defender that they've isolated or a chance that goes to the wayside where they could have converted. They could have had two, three goals at this point. Oh, yes. It, it's it's like, I mean, we can say it a million times. It's not that they're not generating opportunities. It's just how quality are they and, and what are the odds of you actually being able to close it out, especially against Victory, right? Victory's defense is done so much for them, not not only just in this series, but throughout the day in general. And then they're so quick to transition and counter out and turn them into to very lethal shots. Like these demos, both are upfield. You're, you're forcing it in a, a way where it's almost unsavable. You have one chance off the respawn. And even at that, Victory Esports, they're just faster. And well done again for Victory Esports. We talk about, you know, lowering the degree of difficulty on a shot and making a chance a higher percentage chance. That was certainly what was going on there as that ball was brought out. Now a little pinch from Ops and fighting back his Vision Esports, finally converting on a good chance here to get the demo. And they've been trying to get the physical game going, but look at this, it splits the defense and a perfect pinch towards the center of the net for Vision Esports. Oh man, this is the this is the level of clean cut play that you gotta have, especially in moments like this. But I love it. It's it's great execution. The idea to just take out the defense, but realistically take a shot that you know is gonna outplay the defender and that pinch on the ground, completely solid. Now the thing is, do it again because you're still down by one with a minute to go here in this game number two. Nush, very, no boost at all, but a follow-up from Ops almost goes in. Zazonix bailing out Victory. And Victory Esports, they went out of their own half because now they're in something that's not quite uncomfortable, but definitely unfamiliar. Five shots for Ops. Man, he is just all over the place. And a demo on SQQP, an opportunity for Nush on target. Saved again. Vision Esports, they are knocking on the door. They're knocking on the window. They're on the roof and they just barely can't get in. They're just, it, it, it's hard to watch because they're just, they're trying so hard and they honestly, they are so close, but then you have to rush back and defend all of these shots that come from Victory Esports. And now, of course, these shots are coming in fewer and far in between, but it doesn't mean that they're any less quality. So they're still just as dangerous. Nush gonna try and make one last attempt, but pinches all the way back into his half. They can try and catch it, but this one will hit the ground. And Victory Esports gets a head on over the match point. Yeah, and shockingly, this one could be a... All right, because this is lower bracket final. This is do or die. Winner gets to go on to tomorrow. And if you lose, this is your last one. So it's a big deal. It's a big game. We're going to see, does Vision Esports have the clutch factor or do we get another sweep? Vision Esports, what a wonderful series this has been, despite maybe feeling a lot of pressure from Vision Esports. They have, they're have they sitting on match point, which means more pressure on the young guns of Mina here for Vision Esports, and they have got their work cut out for them. I just, it, it, they're already coming out with like their opening like plays, like the, the attempt on the bump play, right? Is like, that could have been in, but you just didn't connect on his car. And then it just, it turns around and then you just have to try it again and again and again. And here's another attempt, low boost. Doesn't have the flip to keep it going forward. Nush to the backboard. Can he get this one down over to Ops? Ops just too far up in Vision Esports again, just Moments away from taking a solid shot, but victory, they hold their own. Their poise is really what has just kept them in this defensively. And it's pretty typical of how this series has developed vision all over Victory Esports, but Victory Esports, when they have gone down the field, opportunities arise pretty quickly, and they've done well to put them home. Vision Esports has a double commit. Victory set up for a pass across the box, but a missed touch from Zazonix will let Vision out for free. That was a dangerous opportunity because of the double commit on the Vision Esports side. 
yeah, you definitely, you got to watch out for that. You guys can't start to, to falter, especially in like key moments like that. Ooh. Crazy redirect though. The power on this one to finally put him in. Vision Esports first on the board, but my goodness, Ops, you, you had 50 million shots. I'm, I'm glad a clippable <laughs> one was the one that made it in. And it's a dream redirect for a player that's rotating last for your team, coming back on defense. defense. You see the clear opportunity, you hedge for it. He knew there was a chance for that one to pop out towards the midfield, and I mean, that's a layup at that point to at least put that one on target. Vision Esports finally back in this one. Can they get another Oh, here they come. Two? Nush is through, and we talked about it all throughout this series. Vision Esports have done such an incredible job of generating opportunity. The, the thing that was missing was the closeout and it's happening and they're running away with it. And now you're sitting here going, all right, Victory, what, what's changed? Here they come. And I mean, listen, it's not like they've changed much about their play style. It's just now they're going in. And a couple of good solo plays and a redirect as well. That has also opened up opportunity. But for Vision Esports, it's, it's more of the same. They've just, been able to put them home. It's a little bit of a floater from Ops, one of the players that's, that's generated and started a lot of plays for this team. This one back, all the defense is rushing, and that's a free shot if I've ever seen one. They caught them off guard just a little bit too far up off the kickoff, unfortunately. And yeah, that that's just a free goal at that point. And I think Dr. Gnome got smoke screened on the demo as well. So he was diving in, hoping he could at least catch the challenge because he he felt like he might be caught in no man's land if he doesn't go. Unfortunately, he doesn't come up with the challenge and it's a free goal, as you said. Oh my gosh. Oh my, well, there's the makeup for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get one back and Dr. Gnome, welcome to the series. Welcome to the day. <laughs> and he started his day off conceding a goal, but man, what a way to put a double tap home for a 3-1 lead. Oh, I, I like this from him too. Even on the low boost, still manages to make the angle on it and off the kickoff. They want to try again. Victory Esports forcing a, a 2v1 on low boost versus a full tank. And of course, full tank comes out successfully here. Vision Esports still up by two, trying to hold on and extend their lead if possible. Ops going to redirect again, possibly. Low and no connection on, on it though. And uh, Victory Esports. It, it is weird to see them having to, to run around and, and defend so much now in comparison to the beginning. Yeah, it's, it's such a different mindset now for Vision Esports, who's, you know, been playing the same exact way the entire time, but now they find themselves in the lead with a little bit of a cushion as well. It's a lot more frustrating on the Victor Esports side because you've been sitting and playing defense so much. You're getting less and less opportunity, and now you have a deficit to make up. That's a frustrating... Uh, you know, point to be at in your game and in your series, especially when you're sitting on match point. Certainly no time to panic, but, and that's a free goal. Let's give it over to Kazi. So you'll take the freebies when they come and Victor Esports now within one. And you want to say don't panic, but now Vision Esports only, only leading by one might be a tiny moment to start to panic for them a little bit, just because this is the closest they've gotten to be able to, to being in a lead and holding on to it for an extended period of time. And this one off the kickoff. Sometimes it hasn't quite gone in the favor of Vision, but they break away Nush using all that he's got to drive this one upfield. And Dr. Known just continuing to carry it forward. It's a team effort to make a shot on target, but Victory oh. Esports defense prevails, but stays out of that net. This would be a uh, disappointing game to drop if you're Vision Esports. Not because they just lose the series, but also because of the way they had this lead and how confident they've looked throughout this game and the series. Still up by one, but you feel like one's coming for Victory Esports, and there it is on the counter. Zizonix puts it home through the pass from SQQP, and look at the space afforded. Ops left his man, and Zizonix was a, had a wide open shot on the net. Yeah, it was just like everybody was placed in a position so far up and ready to catch any long clear that they were going to be able to turn that into some sort of a shot or a play, and it worked out. Tied game, one minute left to go. This one just slipping through the fingers of Vision Esports right now. SQQP just trying to 50 it all the way forward. This one's sent off. 
And another challenge in the air. This one stays down in that orange half there. Victory Esports just trying to claim that lead back very late in this game if possible. 38 seconds left. And Victory Esports trying to close out this series, trying to push back this wave of offense that Vision Esports has just been crashing upon them throughout this series. And they're resulting, or they're, you know, kind of relying on these long clears and chase ball down the field. It has paid off. Vision has given it back to them. Zonic goes in for the shot and blocked away. Dr. Noen makes the block in Vision Esports. Will they have the last laugh? No, they'll give the ball up. Gazi has a shot wide and Vision Esports very scary to give that one a chance. Gazi one more to the backboard, double tap goes down and over time we go. My jaw was already like preemptively on the floor had that double tap gone in, but you're back off the kickoff, just straight into the swing of things. Nush over one off the ceiling, shots on target, crazy oh. last second save and the follow up denied as well. And there you have it, SQQP turns this into a 1v2. Breaks past one, 15 seconds into this, and victory are still in the game. And barely not out of the game. They could have scored right there, and they didn't. Disappointing how that one didn't drop, and now another chance, that one's high. Victory Esports back to what has been their home for the entirety of this series, just sitting on their goal line and kind of weathering the storm of Vision Esports, waiting for them to make a mistake, waiting for the double commit to come out, waiting for the whiff, and maybe just waiting for the ball to fall into their lap. No one's there to follow up, and that shot goes high. It could have been extremely dangerous, too. You gotta be prepared for a lot of those backboard reads. I, that's where so many teams have faltered throughout today, was not, you know, having that backboard defended. And I definitely know Victory Esports wants to utilize it, if possible. Same can be said for Vision. And here's a collection from Ops. This one, stealing and down. Demo comes through. Dr. Known's up next in rotation for this. He sees Nush lurking. It's a shot on target, but SQQP, another great save. It's just Victory Esports playing defense at this point. And, well, that's a good way to describe the entire series with the way this series has gone. Vision has been unrelenting. But they're not generating those shooting chances. This is really just a half chance. It's right at the defender. Now that's a good, better chance, but it's a dunk back the other way. And again, the defense, Victory Esports, they have met the challenge in most of these opportunities. They have sent so many players face first into the ball and have come out on top. Dr. Nellon's not going to get the flip reset and another blasting clear from Victory Esports. Kind of low boost as well for Victory. Trying to race back and get through this oh, got one. We'll thread the needle though. You saw it from the halfway point. Nush to himself off the ceiling. It just carries it. It takes that final shot. <laughs> I, I think that he got power off of that bump too. Yeah, yeah he got bumped. That Very close series. It is just getting closer and closer as time goes on. We are officially headed into game number four here. Still match point for Victory Esports and Vision Esports just trying one foot at a time to stay in this series and take down the Giants that are Victory. Certainly standing in their way. And Victory Esports would love to close this one out. Get away, this has got to be such a frustrating series to play. Not because they gave up the last game, but just because they've had to play a lot of defense. Vision Esports, they have been unrelenting in that. For Victory Esports, they've done well. They've done well to at least keep their chances high. And obviously, they've been sitting on match point now for a game. Yeah, and it's also, it, it's been, it's fair to say, it's been a little bit of a long day. So at some point, you do have to remember there could be a little bit of fatigue starting to set in, especially, you know, when these games start to become so defensive heavy after you've taken, you know, a couple games off of just generating a million shots, it feels. Playing so much defense against a team like Vision can definitely start to wear you down a little bit. So that first minute of gameplay, completely scoreless as you enter the next four minutes. Vision Esports really just trying to turn up the heat. Now the solo play attempted. They had a bump, uh, set a bump for the air dribble. I think they both were going for a bump. In the end, the defender does come out on top. And that, that, that has been something that Victory Esports has gone for quite a bit. They love when the space is given to pick that up and into the solo play. 
looking for the buff, looking to just create that chaos and hope that the opposition isn't ready for it. Or in Vision Esports' case, whose defense has been pretty weak throughout this series, just been a little disorganized. As Victory Esports looking to keep their attack going. That one's just a bit high. SQQB trying to keep it in the mix. He does, but Ops there to safely carry it away. Oh, and I'm, I'm honestly props to the Zonix. That That's one of like the, the deeper layback moments I've seen him in, which is a good thing. I think recognizing that Vision is going to try and clear it out when they have the opportunity to do so. Being, you know, anticipative of those clears is going to really just keep you in this one. Here comes their few attacks off this. Victory Esports there to collect. Crazy challenge in the mid on this one. It's a little bit of a slow dead ball. SQQP tries to set up Gazi. Nothing to come into fruition here. Demos come out. Ops got one. He's going for two as Gazi was trying to make the play and dodge the demo. He does. The Sonic's there to help him out. And it was a dicey situation for Victory Esports. Turns out to be an opportunity if they don't get a hold of the ball and SQQP, SQQP almost got beat. As I think Vision Esports understands the magnitude of where they're at in this series and have slowed down a little bit as Nush doesn't pick up that boost will cost him the attack. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit different than what we saw in the last game from Vision. And I think that's just them recognizing that there is a real chance to reverse sweep, but you can't play as uh, high risk to try and find a reward. Now you got to be a little bit more methodical with what you do. This one of the backboards, enough space to follow through, but defense is reigning strong on even the follow-ups. And Vision Esports, even on low boost, managed to keep all of these shots out. Time's ticking and still scoreless between both teams. Vision aren't showing the same offense that they did before, but for Victory Esports, I don't think they're showing the same offense they did. As both teams have kind of toned it down, certainly no one's getting the output they want as Nush carries this one over one, but it's a setup over to Zonix, who I think was looking for a teammate on the left side, but he didn't have boost to pick it up. Demos come out. Gazi trying to get over this one. Can he get back to it? He does. Drunks it down. Nush makes the save. Another shot comes through. Nush to the far side this time. And Zazonix makes sure that one goes in. A 1-0 lead for Victory Esports. Oh, man. When you're playing against a team like Victory, you do have to always keep in the back of your mind. And remember, those follow-ups are going to be so, so fast. And unfortunately, just the recovery from Nush just was not in his favor to get back there in time. And now you've got less than a minute to go to try and equalize this game. Otherwise, this is the end of the road for you. And Victory Esports, they can breathe a little bit and say, you know what, we can play our solid defensive game. It's won things before against this team. It's just 42 seconds away. You know, now Vision might go back to how they were playing before, just throwing the house at them mm -hmm. and hoping that something drops. But a second one might be the dagger. Gazi puts it away for Victory Esports and for Vision. Disaster in the final minute. Oh, this is just unfortunate. I mean, the first initial save was not bad by any means, but it's low boost and you're forced to try and make not one but two saves, right? If you're Dr. Known in that situation. and. He has just been placed in the, in the most unfortunate of situations when he finally gets to get back into things here. And Victory Esports comfortably in a 2-0 with just over 20 seconds left, potentially 3-0 right here. Unless Vision oh Esports can oh generate a shot off this one no, off he the missed. back for no follow-up, he missed! Oh, that was such a great little setup too. That player was just floating in midfield. That ball came back to him and he clicked it on. And that was the chance. I mean, there was no guarantee, but you would at least gotten to another kickoff in the end now. Victory Esports, victorious 3-1 in this series.